how is your general equity fund different from other funds and other general equity products out there? So our general equity fund, uh, we think, is different from our peers. We run the fund versus different benchmarks. So we have different equity solutions for different clients. Different clients have different benchmarks um, that they are targeting. So we run, for example, our general equity fund targets the All Share Index, but we also have a collective investment scheme which targets the cap SWIX, for example. So depending on what benchmark you want to uh, beat or try and model against, we will run a mandate against that. So, so the first takeaway from that comment is that we would be benchmark cognizant. So what does that mean? It means that we look at the benchmark when we construct the portfolio. We try and put a portfolio together that has a um, different combination of active positions. So what does active position means? It means that we're looking at taking positions um, in different stocks which make the portfolio look different to the underlying benchmark. So in other words, shares which we think look very attractive, in other words, shares which are um, pricing in a big margin of safety or trading at a big discount to the intrinsic value, we would overweight those shares, in other words, buy more of that share versus its weighting in the benchmark. And similarly, shares which are expensive or trading at valuations which are above or equal to the intrinsic value, we would not have those shares in the portfolio. And a combination of all these positions would then result in an outcome over time where you should then have the portfolio generating, first of all, a real return because you're buying something that's worth a rand at a discount to rand and secondly, then beating the underlying benchmark. So that's really the principles of what we do. Where we are different, however, is that because we recognize that at Truffle we have skill, but it's not perfect skill, what we try and do is we maximize the number of independent positions or active positions in the portfolio. So what does that mean? It's a complicated statement, but it's actually quite simple. And what we try and do is we try not to bet the farm on one big position in the portfolio. So we, try, we have a capital allocation budget and we try and spread that capital allocation budget across as many independent ideas as possible. Now why do we do that? Because we know we're not going to get all of our calls right. So what would be very sad as, a, as an asset manager is if you come after a year, um, you get 60% of your calls right but in the 40% that you got wrong, you had one very big allocation of capital to one strategy or one stock, which you got wrong and destroyed the value that you created across the rest of the 60. So what we try and do is we try and maximize the number of independent positions. We try and spread the capital budget across many independent ideas, knowing that some of those we're going to get right and some of them we're going to get wrong but we don't want the ones that we get wrong to destroy all the value on balance because on balance we think we'll get more right than we'll get wrong and hence to create a more sustainable alpha engine or a more sustainable real return product over time. And that's really where we think we are different from our general equity process um, and fund versus our peers. Ian, thank you for your time and sharing your knowledge on the funds. Thanks, Andrew, for your time. Thank you very much. And thank you for tuning into Black Onyx. For more details, please visit our website.